Now, Weber plans to become an independent in April. He told media he hopes more MLAs will follow his move. Meanwhile, Premier Redford was involved in a conference call today between BC Premier Christy Clark and Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall, with all three agreeing on making it easier for people moving between provinces. Now, starting in April 2015, drivers won't need to get their cars inspected if their vehicles are less than four years old or if one has been done at a designated facility within the last 90 days. The premiers have also agreed that apprentices in the skilled trades will be able to move without having to start their training all over again. Now, they say it will be better for employers that operate in more than one province and will allow Western provinces to more easily share training resources. Well, every year, millions of Canadians light up. Now, Health Canada has produced numerous anti-smoking campaigns, but it still may not do the trick to help smokers butt out. But as Anna Stanislaw explains in this week's Healthy Living, one book is giving hope to many who are trying to kick the habit. Instead of being above 10, just above 5. Former NewCap employee and CTV Edmonton's meteorologist Josh Clausen was a smoker for 18 years. I tried everything for forever and, and nothing has ever worked. But he says after reading Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking, he doesn't even remember what it was like to be a smoker. I was kind of skeptical. I thought, yeah, you know, sure, uh, a book's going to help me quit. It sounds ridiculous. And it makes no sense. I can't, I can't uh, explain how or why it works, um, but, it, but it does. Author Alan Carr smoked 100 cigarettes a day for 30 years. He passed away from lung cancer in 2006. The president and CEO of Alan Carr North America says the book has helped millions of smokers stop smoking. Rather than talking about why people shouldn't smoke, it talks about why they do smoke. You know, the belief that it helps them relax, the belief that it helps them cope with stress. Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking contains just over 230 pages, and you don't even have to be mentally prepared to quit smoking to read this book. In fact, for Josh, he put down the cigarette just midway through. He says in the book that some people will stop reading the book at that point because they're too scared and they, they think, you know, I, I can't do this. It may be hard to believe a single book can do the job, but O'Hara says it's not physical withdrawal or addiction from nicotine. It's the emotional conflict that makes quitting difficult. O'Hara says in the book, Alan removes this emotional conflict and makes smokers look at it in a different perspective. Smokers sleep through physical withdrawal from nicotine every single night when they go to bed. And it's so mild that it doesn't even wake them up. But the process of withdrawal is the same whether you're awake or whether you're asleep. You know, it's a chemical process. Anna Stanislaw, Newcap News. Healthy Living is brought to you by Table Mountain. It's never too early or late to learn how to ski or snowboard. Bring the whole family. Table Mountain, enjoyed by all. It was history in the making for the Lakeland College Case Competition team. Now, this past weekend, they attended the 2014 Alberta Deans of Business College Case Competition. Now, Cassandra Jodwin has more on how the team did. It was amazing. It was amazing. Totally incredible. Incredible it is. For the first time in their competition history, the Lakeland College Case Competition team took home the top prize at the Alberta Deans of Business College Case Competition. But it wasn't just by luck or lack of preparation that the team was able to get first place. The team's journey to number one started back in January. So at least one evening a week, we met together on their own time and mine. And uh, they got a case. They didn't know what it was. They had time to prepare it, so solve it. And then they presented to me and I'd give them tips on how to improve and ask them difficult questions so they were ready for the judges of the competition. And when it came time to compete, the team was put through a very long day. It starts early in the morning. All the competing teams gather and are given the same case from a real company with an actual problem they need solving. The teams are then all locked away in war rooms for 10 hours to try and come up with solutions to present to the judges. That includes the owner of the company. 10 hours might seem like a lifetime, but not in a case competition. The 10 hours goes by a lot faster than you would think. Um, the first like five hours goes by really slow and after that you're like, what, we don't have time to finish. They might not have had time to finish, but what they had was clearly enough for the judges. And that's what earned them a check for $4,000. The Lakeland College business team only goes to one competition a year. So for now, until next competition season, they'll have a perfect record. It was a, a 
an experience of a lifetime, and I'm glad I got to do it. Cassandra Jodouin, New Cap News. Job seekers in the Lakeland area had a chance to tune up their resumes and get their name out there for the Lakeland's annual job fair. Now, companies from around the region were trying or were there to try and find their next employee. Fraser Snowden has more. The event had more than 50 companies looking to hire. 20 year old Chelsea Resto is currently finishing courses for administrative and office work and is already hunting for a job. Scorpion Industries, I really liked them. They were very friendly and outgoing and kept the conversation going. She believes job fairs are key to let people know who you are. I think it is very important because you get your resume out there and even if they don't have a position, a position may open later or they can pass your resume around if they know someone who is looking. Organizers say this year they do have a variety of different companies that people can come and speak with. Not just uh, steel toe boots and coveralls. There's all kinds of employment opportunities. And there's some summer opportunities for students, admin kind of stuff. There's uh, janitorial, there's cooking jobs. Mr. Mike's Steakhouse Casual was also there hiring waiters and hostesses. Although some may not think they are qualified for the job, the company can train you. You don't need to have a lot of... Um, industry specific experience it's always helps uh, but we do do a lot of training so just uh, being comfortable with people being um, customer service oriented. Another business looking for employees Lakeland Credit Union says there are many skills you can transfer to work with them. Business administration is great um, having that ability to interact with customers so obviously your customer service. Um, other roles uh, fit more towards the back office type function um, so having your administrative type skills more of the uh, paperwork type things. If you missed the job fair, you can visit bonnievillechamber.com for a full list of the companies that are hiring. In Bonneville, Fraser Snowden, Newcap News.